let's get right back to it. This is my review for stage 7 of the 2022 Dakar Rally. And after the rest day, it was rotten luck for Daniel Santos, who had won stage 6. And with a collision on the way to the stage, he was out of the rally. You have to wish for him a speedy recovery. And especially considering his awesome pace he had this year, it's gutting to see what has happened. But hopefully in the remainder of the Rally Raid Championship, he's able to show the kind of talent that he has shown on this edition of the Dakar. The Gas Gas Factory Racing Team had more rotten luck with Sam Sunderland dropping out of the lead. He's dropped down to fourth now, 5 minutes 38 off the lead. And it's quite telling, isn't it, that the bike category, if he gained 27 seconds, he'd be in second place. He's in fourth, Benavidez in third, Walkner in second, and the leader, well, that's Van Beveren now. Van Beveren came home in 10th place on today's stage, 12 minutes 34, that's nice, 1, 2, 3, 4, behind Corneo Florimo. And that was a brilliant scratch for him. Benavidez second, 44 seconds behind, and then John Beretta bought 2 minutes 51 off of the winning time. If we go across to the car category now, and in the stage, it was tight battles again. It was looking like it was going to be a four-person fight initially. Um, third and fourth in the end went to the Audis with Sainz winning over Peter Hansel. With Ekstrom, the lead Audi overall, down in 8th place, 14 minutes 42 seconds off the eventual stage winner. And who were the top two? Well, it was Alatia and Loeb, as it is in the general. But who won today? Well, it was Loeb by 5 minutes 26, despite having a fuel pump issue towards the end of the test. That hasn't really reduced Alatia's lead too much. It's knocked about 10% out of it which, given that we only have a handful of stages left, isn't going to be enough, even if he kept winning at that rate. The lead that Alatia has at this point is 45 minutes, with Al Raji a further 8.5 minutes behind Loeb, and Alvarez another 22 minutes behind Al Raji. Elsewhere, if we go to the truck category, it was 1-2. To four five for Kamaz. Third place went to Van den Brink in the Ivaco for De Roy. But it was Shibalov that took the scratch. I believe it's a first win of this edition for Shibalov. Nikolaev in second place, 1 minute 37 back. And then it was Karkinov and Sotnikov in fourth and fifth. Overall, Sotnikov still holds a lead. It is now 5 minutes 14 over Nikolaev with Shibalov in third. 31 25 back. Karganov, 1 hour 37, or nearly 1 hour 38 back, is in 6th. To get to Lepray, who is the 4th place in the Praga, he'd need to find half an hour over these final few stages, which actually seems like a doable thing compared to, say, Loeb's Herculean effort to try and fight for the win. If we look at the quad category, uh, Giroud has extended, I believe, some of the advantage over Capetti but the scratch went to Medeiros three minutes ahead of Giroud Capetti was 13 minutes behind the Frenchman Maximov is an hour 10 back and Vizhnevsky is another 45 minutes behind Maximov in the original by Motor Class Gaz Ninkas is still in the lead though didn't take the scratch today that went to Melo in the Team S3 KTM by 2 minutes 26. And if we go over to our other categories, if you look at the light prototype, it went to Quintero again from Cristina Gutierrez in second place. She was 7 minutes 11 seconds off of Quintero, and I believe that's a sixth win for Quintero. He's looking at trying to get a Dakar record in terms of the amount of wins that he gets. Lopez Quintana still holds a lead of over an hour from EKS stablemate Ericsson. And then in the SSV, a win for Ferris Guell in the Can-Am over Domzala by 1 minute 18 today. It was a 2 minute penalty for Domzala which cost him the scratch and Gotzal was 3 minutes behind the winning Spaniard. But overall, it is still Austin Jones, Ferris Guell six and a half minutes behind let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below i'm looking forward to seeing how the rest of this rally plays out thank you so much for watching and i hope to you again soon bye for now